Welcome back to Next Level Sports. Uh, I'm Sam Green, along with Ari Itzkovic, Connor Power, and Connor Steindorf. And today we are going to be debating which teams in the NBA are going to exceed expectations and which ones are not going to exceed those expectations. Uh, Ari, what are your thoughts? So, um, first off, I think that the team that is going to exceed the most expectations this year, we already saw a jump from the Magic last year. You know, they've been getting better in the offseason, adding Kentavious Caldwell Pope to the roster. He adds a different element that these guys need. You know, a lot of their guards are defensive. He brings an offensive element in three point shooting that I think they can use to space the floor around Paolo. And speaking of Paolo, I think this is the year that he takes the real MVP jump, and I think the Magic have a real chance of being a top three seed in the East. On the other side of that coin, however, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Steph's going down with the ship. Steph Curry is going down with the ship, but that ship is sinking fast. They just lost Klay Thompson. Draymond Green has already been taking steps back in the past years, and Steph Curry is no longer a top two point guard in the NBA. I think the Golden State Warriors have a really good chance of being a bottom three seed in the um, Western Conference because the Western Conference is stacked, and I feel bad for Steph Curry, but I don't think that. Uh, the dynasty will continue. Okay, uh, Mr. Power, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I think the Sixers are gonna make the Eastern Conference Finals, but fall uh, in six to the Celtics. Adding Paul George is really the next. Uh, he's gonna be the X factor for them. Really push them to the next level, and hopefully not make a second round exit. But on the other side, I think the Spurs are gonna be the last team in the West. They will not even have a top three pick and crap uh, Mr. Steindorf you uh, want to add on yeah so one team that I think is going to exceed expectations is the Memphis Grizzlies you know last year they were missing jaw for pretty much all of the season Jaron Jackson Jr. Uh, the defensive player from two years ago was injured for quite a while so was Desmond Bain their 3 and D guy so I think if they can get a full season out of all those guys they can really make a deep run in the playoffs last year sadly they were all hurt you know they got uh, one of the they were one of the worst teams in the West last year and a team that I think is gonna decrease in their value and get worse is the LA Clippers uh, they lost Paul George, their leading scorer, I believe, from last year. Ka Kawhi Leonard is often injured. And James Harden, he doesn't play much defense, and he's getting older. So I think the, Cl the Clippers are going to take a step back. The Grizzlies are going to take a step forward. Uh, don't mean to interrupt, but we are getting a call. Um, uh, hi, Charlie. What are your thoughts on what teams do you think are going to exceed expectations and which one do you think are going to fail? So I think the Sixers will definitely be better in the regular season this year. But you have to remember that Paul George's playoff performance with the Clippers has been absolutely horrendous. Paul George cannot play in the playoffs. He's going to disappear when the Sixers need him the most. And although they probably will have a better regular season, there's no chance they make it to six games in the Eastern Conference Finals against a team like the Boston Celtics. A team that I think will be bad um, is the Golden State Warriors. I don't think that Draymond Green and Steph Curry are going to be able to do it by themselves. They don't have Klay Thompson anymore. They're, both of them are getting old. Draymond Green keeps having incidents left and right, and the Warriors are just a, a sink, a shift that's sinking rapidly. Uh, do you want to add that? Incidents any is a word for Draymond Green's antics. I'll uh, say that much. Do you want to add anything? Uh, um... I actually don't think the Warriors will be a bottom team in the Western Conference, but uh, they will be only a play-in team. Uh, in my opinion, I think this will be Steph's last year out in San Francisco. You know, the Warriors are falling fast. Draymond Green seems like he's punching somebody almost every other game. Klay Thompson is gone. Uh, they have some younger guys, Jonathan Kaminga. Uh, Moses Moody out there, but I think they're going to really try to hit this rebuild, and I think next year Steph might be on a contender. Uh, well, that's all the time we have today. Uh, thank you for joining Next Level Sports, and we'll see you next time.